Dude, I envy you so much. Like the way you sleep. Why is it, that? Cause I don't know. I just struggle to fall asleep sometimes. Oh no, I bro! I go it. right to sleep. Dude, I laid in bed last night. From I turned the TV off at like one fourteen. I didn't fall asleep till like three thirty. I was taking melatonins. I was eating things. All the things that like usually put me to sleep. None of it was working. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You're high every day. Dude, I struggle to fall asleep. I don't know why. Yeah, he be high, but he still it's, don't be sleepy. It's because uh, I think lately I'm obsessed with hypnosis, and I see how easy they fall asleep, and then I get in my head, and I'm like. I'm not gonna do it. Why? Well, no, I get in my head of like, why can't I do it? And then I like, I overthink everything. Mm -hmm. Like you ever like, you ever hear like white noise puts you to sleep? Like I'll try and like focus on the sound of the fan, but then I'm focusing too hard on that and I forget to breathe. So then I gotta remember <laughs> to breathe, and then I'll be like, in out fan sound of the fan <laughs> one two three four and like i can't count down you ever no. do that where you try and count down to go to sleep and then you get to the bottom of it and you're like i'm gonna fucking shoot myself in the head yeah that doesn't work i tried that before because i've heard uh if you count down from ten thousand, it's like almost guaranteed you fall asleep and i got all the way to zero once <laughs> yo zero. fuck Dude, that i went ten thousand backwards <laughs> nah you skipped uh, some numbers after though. you were like here it comes yeah i was like i'm gonna shoot myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah this shit better work <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, you dude. gotta figure something out. You can't count. Yourself. Wait, wait. So you think if you can fall asleep easy, that means you can get hypnotized easy? I can't get hypnotized. I think you're hypnotizable. You crazy? You think if they hit me with the jaw and I fall asleep? Dude, I saw a hypnotist. You'd be uh, asleep beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, you <laughs> 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 during during the, this part, you're out. <laughs> nah. I saw a hypnosis video the other day that made me a believer. What was it? Um, just a guy getting fucking hypnotized pretty easily. <laughs> it's pretty uh, straightforward, but I don't know. I don't believe that shit. All right. Well, I guess we gotta try, it, dude. I think you have to want to. I think you have to want to get hypnotized. Like you gotta be in your mind, like yo, I want this to work, and then it'll work. Same thing with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. What percent of the population is hypnotizable? <clears throat> Can be hypnotized. 95% of people can be hypnotized. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Nah, but they don't mean by like another person. They mean by like anything. What do you think it means? By anything like images, shit like that, sounds. You're talking about propaganda. Yeah, bro. They don't just mean a person, right? Kendrick lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 5 to 10% are good candidates for hypnosis. That's probably more accurate. How did this switch uh, so drastic? Yeah, that's a drastic. Yeah, it's the complete opposite numbers, actually. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, take your 95% and use the <laughs> remaining 5%. Yeah. That's what we'll go off of. And that's standard watch hypnosis. Swing and a watch. Yeah, that's watch in, a, in spinny black and white colors hypnosis. Yeah, that's exactly. That's swirl hypnosis. Yeah, that's, that's swirl. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's swirl hypnosis. That's fucking... There's really only one way to find out, I guess. The guy was saying that there's like there's ways when he meets you, he knows if you're hypnotizable, like pretty much off the bat. Yeah, he's probably he like said a, sweaty palms. Sweaty palms means you're hypnotizable. Nah, bruh. What? Uh, is there a reason for that? I don't know. I'm not a hypnotist. He wasn't giving me the secrets. This is, this is all Netflix stuff, but interesting. Nah, he. That's probably a trick because you probably everybody's palms are sweaty, and nah, you touch them, and like, I'm hypnotizable. My palms not sweaty. Your palms are getting very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Your palms are sweaty. Uh, Your knees are, are weak. weak. <laughs> Arms are heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Well, that's my first fact. That's one, like on, one on the board. That's not your first fact. No, it's not. But right. That would have been cool nah, if I just bro. led you guys. Like, I'm fucking quarterback in this thing today, dude. Yeah, you can't do that type of shit, though. You can't do that. Watch how I segue all these. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no way you're that good at facts. Because, look, most of your facts be fake facts. You, you're, 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 you're notorious for making up facts. Let's not do this to him, man. He's a guest. I mean, I'm He's just saying. Guest, this podcast. guest of honor. I, I, but, I mean, I, I have to tell the, the people that know what we're about up here. I got. I have to warn them. Yeah. You know. No, you guys are about googling fun facts. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty doable, dude. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, no. I figured out. I figured out what I was supposed to do. Okay. I don't know. You're not like you're not typing in like really fun facts. Right. Yeah. Friday how, fun how much facts. Fun are you trying to add? Weird facts. <laughs> fun facts about fish. Come on, man. Yeah, don't I mean, really do. Re- I really do research. I so did the, research. I do research. I Drew showed, beforehand was like, I'm gonna bring a PowerPoint, and then I came downstairs like, you got the PowerPoint. He's like, I couldn't figure PowerPoint out. PowerPoint takes how to so use. long, dude. Damn, bro. Also, I had, yeah, you told me no one had done it before, so. Should I should have lied? Yeah, you should have said everyone does powerpoints. But I showed George my facts, and he said they were all originals. It would have been great if you would have brought a powerpoint. I mean, I could go. We could delay this thing another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to start it at one a.m., I'll make a powerpoint. <laughs> I gotta call Rob. Get him out of bed. <laughs> yeah, teach me powerpoint. I don't make the letters bounce across the screen. <laughs> Yo, FaceTime me real quick. Teach me PowerPoint is crazy. <laughs> At fucking midnight. <laughs> Rob, pause your movie. Tell your lady to relax. Yeah, turn off boys in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but here. At AO Actually, you know what we all about. We all about the facts. And no, not the fun, super fun facts. About the fucking hard facts, bro. You see what I'm saying? We're here to represent the truth. Only things that are real and provable on this earth. That's what we talk about. Not all these opinions, all this bullshit about this and that, what's better, what's not. We don't give a fuck about that. Facts is what we about here. And to my far, far, far left, I have Benjamin Stop. Ah. And obviously we have the all no, all all knowledgeable, all knowing Naeem Ali. But today, important episode, man. We it's we're we're switching the public perception of a certain comedian because a lot of people think that this guy is just a bumblefuck, podunk, country boy yep. <laughs> <laughs> from some hillbilly ass place in New York. Yep. But mm-hmm. truly, Drew Montana is one of the leading scientific minds in the comedy community. Please give it up for Drew Montana. Yep. 3.5 GPA in college, dude. People think I don't know things. Shut up. Watch this. <laughs> Dean's List once. <laughs> yeah. They call Dean's List nice. one time, dude. That's mm-hmm. like, there you go. I feel yeah. like you were an honor roll kid or no? I was, uh, I was like a good test taker, but yeah, I didn't like, I didn't really learn stuff until like recently. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I, I retained information well. You seem like mm. a guy with deductive reasoning. Yeah, see, I don't even know what that means. So probably. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like I subtract right. things to, yeah, but you did, yeah, I guess I deduct you certain deduce. things that don't make sense and put them into over. Now, yeah. what you just, what? I, I know what you're saying. I put things in lists. That's what that means to me. I rank things. Deductive neat reasoning means ranking things for sure. This is gonna be a terrible episode. Yo. One hundred percent sure yo. what it means. <laughs> It's literally <laughs> probably what it means. And now you deduced it, bro. You actually got it. Yeah, I know. Did, you used deductive I, you reason to figure it out. Yeah, bro. I know. I said that I am. beautiful. You said deduct sounds like subtract. <laughs> 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 probably subtracting things. I am one, dude. Yeah. One of them ones. He said taking things and putting them up over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. Charts. I'm and a charts. big list guy, dude. <laughs> He's a knowledge yeah, better. Charts. I'm all about the list. <laughs> Damn, you right, bro. My whole life has been about the rank. You could dude. talk yourself into working at Apple. You're like charts, stats, numbers. <laughs> no, I, w- I would fucking hate working for Apple. One time I counted down from 5,000. <laughs> yeah. I bet no one at Apple has counted down from 10,000. <laughs> they can't even try, man. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. They don't have the time, dude. They're all worried. They, everything at Apple is fucking AI in the future now, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those dudes love chat GPT count backwards for them. I did it. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're out here, dude. I did the thing, dude. They're, <laughs> they're I robot over Montana. there, dude. Yeah. That's I robot over there. I'm Hancock. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you Hancock? Hancock for sure. <laughs> Damn, bro, <laughs> that's a crazy mashup. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild, bro. All right, you want to get into the first fact of the episode? Yeah, yeah. Who's going first? Feeling. Uh, you want me to do it? Yeah, kick, kick us off, man. I've got a casual one. Yeah. Casual bird fact. <clears throat> AO, actually, did you know that there's three types of birds in Australia known as the firebirds that'll create forest fires in order to hunt prey? Oh, what? That's they'll fi- crazy. They'll find, like, a burning brush. Yeah. Grab a stick, fly over to where they want to hunt their animals and drop it in the fire. Bro, that's, careful, fl- that's careful flying because you got to fly, but not f- so fast that it puts the fire out. No, oxygen keeps fire going. 
These are just Moltreses in real life. <laughs> That's sick. Is that what you did this for? This is a Moltres. <laughs> that is not what I did this for. <laughs> you really can't stop thinking about Pokemon. <laughs> I We just talked about this the other day. The Firebirds? Ew. Yeah. Yo, you crazy. Um, Shout out to Drew's Pokemon Crocs. It is a Moltres in real life. I didn't even really put that one together. I mean, yeah, maybe, dude. I, wh- who am I to say? I'm not the, the all-knowledgeable being, but I, for one, don't believe this. You don't? Well, how don't you believe it? <laughs> no? <laughs> nah. But think about crows. Crows figure out how to use tools and stuff. Yeah. And this is just a more evil kind of crow. They start fires. They're, a monkey just figured out medicine for the first time the other day. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, yeah, it did. I saw. What there, is it? There was an orangutan that used a herbal plant on a eye wound, and he was just rubbing a leaf on his eye, and scientists were like, monkeys are using medicine. And I was like, here's the thing. They're not, dude. <laughs> <It might just, laughs> that monkey's retarded. Yeah, that might just make him feel good. Yeah. It's not like... I he healed do- it. It d- he doesn't know the all healing purposes of it though. No, it he knew like, it. You know, they say he mashed some shit up and he just fucking. Put was, that, did it work? What was it? And, and we're putting that shit on his. He eye, put like bro. aloe on a scratch. Come on. Bro, I mean, no, he did it. It, medicine. it worked and he it healed it. All right, but that was the first guy ever though, and like exactly. So a bird can't start a fucking fire. All right, maybe they can. <laughs> That's it. That has to be all. How all medicine was figured out. You know what I mean? Monkeys. Yeah, or just like people on. Old old humans just like mashing things up and rubbing it on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like, a well, lot this of this one works better. You should do this one. Yeah, a lot of fails. Yeah, yeah. you damn. gotta think people. Most people probably try shit first. Yeah, that's what the, they like. Damn, I, this piece of my body fell off. Let me try to mash it back in. Fucking vats of acid. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Mm-hmm. You don't trust any sign. You don't trust Fauci. You don't trust the orangutan with the mush. That's not true. <laughs> you know, I trust the. <laughs> 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 I do trust the hearing thing with the voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, this is cool. I, if it's real, good for them, dude. Yeah, you can't come on here and deny the facts, you know? No, I just, that's what I asked you on the way here. Where's the proof in any of this? What do you mean? It's on, it's on fucking Google. It's on the internet. All right. That's the proof of it. You're right. What, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? The internet is going to lie to us like that? They would never. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's the worst way to get hunted, though. You know what I mean? out. Yeah, like imagine like planes come overhead, drop fire on your city. You're trying to escape the city, and then they just mow you down. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's yeah, this scary. is very, very Vietnam of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very scary. Birds figured out napalm bombs. Damn, just starting fires, bro. That's nuts. Mm-hmm. Huh? All right, I believe it. I'm sold. Good thing they don't hunt like rats in like major cities. Yeah. Because then they just be starting fires in buildings and shit, just trying to get rats to run out. Drew yeah. hates the first fact he said. Hmm. Yeah. No, I, it's like, it's just hard to believe. It's not fun, man. It's no, it's a good, it's a very fun fact. It's just hard to believe, but I, I do you, believe it. But you know, you know the thing. Most of, things are hard to believe. Exa- yeah. You know yeah. the thing about our show? That's what we do, bro. Yeah, the hard to believe fact. I don't bro. hate it. See what I'm saying? I'm just imagining fucking birds seeing the fire department pull up from a distance and be pissed. <laughs> they can see him from miles away, dude. Drew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, solid fact, bud. Yeah, do you, what's, your, what's your fact? What you got? You're on the board. Wait, wait, wait. I got a fact that go with your fact. Can I do it? Sure. Keep, keep scroll all the way down, all the way to the bottom. Way, 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 way down. Way down. Way, way down, down. Way down. All right, little up, little up. Little up more, up more, up more. Yep, right there. And can you zoom in? All right. Here we go. Hey, yo, actually, if humans had uh, a vision as good as the eagles, we'd be able to see an ant on the ground from the roof of a 10-story building. We would also have brilliant color vision, UV vision, and nearly 360-degree range of view, bro. Did you know that? Who's this guy? This is the eagle eye man. man. <laughs> yeah, this is the eagle eye man. Oh, that's old uh, William Hodos, eagle face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not William Hodos, eagle face. That's the fucking... Hey, yo. Uh, are we not talking real uh, shit on here? Yeah, no. we are. You right, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yo, William Hodos, eagle face. Yeah, he said. Yeah, that was his Indian name. Yeah, he's a professor at <laughs> University of Maryland. Yeah. That's, that's what they call baby. Yeah, that's what <laughs> they call, call him Eagle <laughs> Face. They call Jewish guys that on the res. <laughs> yeah, Eagle Face. <laughs> that was mean. Damn, bro. 
Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So he's a scientist, Eagle Face, and he said that <laughs> that's what it would be like if we had. So he's saying that's what it would look like if humans had Eagle Vision? Yeah, yes. I'm saying I don't that's think the how... picture was necessary. <laughs> or the nose. No, it is because <laughs> it does make sense because I don't understand how we'd have 360 vision. And honestly, I understand it less looking at this picture. <laughs> how do... 360 vision means behind your head, correct? Yeah, there's no way eagles have 360 vision. Yeah, you can't have three. You can't see behind your fucking head. That's impossible. But uh, maybe I'm the wrong guy for the show, dude. <laughs> nah, bro. You just are very but distrustful. No, maybe, maybe, maybe no one on this show has had a 3.5 <laughs> GPA before, dude. Nah, dog. Maybe they can. Maybe they can see behind their head. We don't know so how it, eagles mind and what type of senses they have, yeah, bro. You're right. You see what I'm saying? They can have a, a, a seven sense. Yeah, it's on the brain. You ever try to sneak up on an eagle? It's true. Right, Hard right. Time. I dare you to try some shit like that. You're not getting it. Not it's not happen, that'd be so. the last time you snuck up on anything. Wait, what bro? was the thing about the ant? Go back up a little bit. Oh, yeah, you could, yeah, you could be. We you got see powers a, like this. Mm -hmm, you will see an ant on the ground from the roof of a ten-story building, bro. Ten stories up, seeing an ant—that's nuts. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being able to see some shit like that? You can't even fathom what that'd be like. Ben can communicate with ants from over 10 stories away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, before the episode started, I found one on my chest. Yo, you had one on your chest? <laughs> I'm living Yo, like a gorilla's bro. life right now. What the fuck is wrong with you? He keeps one on his shoulder like it's a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, they do tasks for me, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Just bringing you chrome. Yeah. I'm like, I get my chrome. Yeah. So birds can see color. Birds can see more colors. They can see more can. colors than us. Whoa. I always hate thinking about that. I actually have a fact on that one if you scroll to the bottom of my fact page. <laughs> <laughs> this, this show has become predominantly about birds. Mm hmm. Yeah, scroll through all the. All right, ready? Very bottom, very bottom. Yep, that's what birds see. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, like this, I see all them colors all the time. Yeah, it's crazy because we're looking at those colors. Yeah, I see them right now. <laughs> I see them colors. Wait, man. so that's what, bro? You're a distant relative of eagle. You're telling face. me crows aren't black to birds. Crows are like that. Yeah, they're mystical beings. Oh, that's nuts. They see each other like that. UV and they vision. got UV vision, bro. What's that mean? They can see heat signatures and shit like that. Oh wow. Damn, bro. Can you imagine that? It is. They are way cooler looking. Damn. Yeah, our greens and yellows mash into each other. They don't even. They don't even do that. On their so everything side. is they see everything in rainbows. Yeah. Very sick. Rainbows and neons. Very cool. It's kind of distracting. A little bit. You know what? I prefer human human vision. True. Yeah, but that's because that's what you know. That's what you were born with. Yeah. But if you could see like that, though, how could you focus on anything? Um I don't I, know. I be walking around tweeting and flapping my wings too. Shit. And yeah. That's all I could see, dog. Yeah, you got to be happy if those you gotta are your colors. got to be happy as hell, that's what you see. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what people look like to birds. Oh, probably disgusting. We don't got feathers that get, that's like iridescent. They probably think we're just dumb. They probably hate that we're so big because they're like, yo, if they were our size, we would fucking carry them to the top of mountains and drop them. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It, 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 that is true. They have to resent us for our size. True. If they if most of if most animals got bigger, we would be done. We'd be fucked. Yeah. Oh, it'd be over. Yeah. Like if the the fucking firebirds were large. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think like we got lucky with the ones that are large. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think we killed I think we probably killed off all the other ones. Yeah, at least like American large animals, I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do we got? Bears. They bears but, like grow. bears are just big gophers. That's like if gophers got big, if you big. think about it. <laughs> what do you mean? They're, they're just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the fuck, bro? I don't have no idea. Big gophers. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Do gophers fucking hunt shit down and but eat that's shit the, like that? That's the argument of, like, if crows were the size of fucking bears. You know, if gophers were the size of bears, of course they would. But they're not the size of bears, so they have to look at us and be like, fuck, I'll, just, I'll just hide from these dudes. Mm -hmm. One day. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. If they could, they would. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If anything could, it would, man. That's the whole... That's Yeah, that's my that's point. That's the chain of life, man. Yeah, true. If a tree could, it would. But that's why we got lucky. Like, elephants are like... Elephants don't see us and have any malice. Some do. True. Yeah. That's only if we piss them off, though. Yeah, but they don't eat humans. Yeah. yeah. If they ate humans, that'd be nuts. Elephants think humans are cute. Yeah, yeah. we did that fact on here. Mm -hmm. Elephants will flip your Jeep at fucking at most. 
and then you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. true. They might shove you around. Yeah. They'll flip your safari boogie. You'll mm-hmm. survive. Mm-hmm. Damn. All right. Drew, what's your first right, fact? Hey, come today? on, Drew. We're, we're honestly very we, excited. We finally got to let Drew do a fact. We've been, we've been hogging. We it did today. hog. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how do I, I say AO actually? AO actually. Mm-hmm. In rare instances, did you know lice can kill a person? Mm-hmm. Last case in the U.S. of lice killing a person was 2022. Never. Not 2022. What? 2022. Two years ago. Another one in 2020. Getting taken out That's by bugs. That's crazy. Lice. And what it does is, uh, I mean, exactly what you think. They fucking bite through your scalp, and then they give you brain infections. Oh, they go through, like they your, go head, through your skull? Through your skull? Yep. How do you let it get what? that bad? Yeah, well, I, don't know, I don't know necessarily if they go through the skull, but they get into your brain somehow. What? Well, how else would you? I get your head, and they get to your brain. I don't know. Like, at that point, they can probably crawl, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But I do know. I don't like, say they could get through your skull. Maybe they're going through your ear. No, because there's, like, pictures of fucking dudes with, like, Damn, lice holes in bro. their head. Interesting. I put on hats at the at stores all the time. I don't worry about lice whatsoever. Yeah, you you white. You should worry about lice. Black people can't get lice. Really? Fuck no. So most of it, most of it is from bacteria. That's how it happens. Oh, yeah, I guess, look, because they can crawl down on your, uh, uh, like, your shoulders and shit. Ew. So, yeah, I've... I didn't even know lice bite. Lice, Who's getting taken out by lice, lice in 2022? I don't think it's necessarily like like termites or what you think they would do, like where they just go in and eat your fucking brain. Yeah. But they do get in there and give it infections. Whew. Damn. And somebody died in 2022 from 2022. I think, that means it, has I think it was lice. a kid because the, the parents were charged with homicide. Oh, yeah. yeah cause uh, that's just, in, a, in a neglectful homicide. That's just, yeah, that's full of neglect if, you, if you're dying from lice. Yeah. Yeah, Gotta be that's crazy neglect. to be arguing that in court and be like, I, I didn't touch him. It was the bug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Was it me? You think I gave him a brain infection? Try at least 10,000 bucks. <laughs> no, that's for lice court, dude. That's where that's <laughs> <laughs> whole, whole different judicial system down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those lice were fucking celebrating on that kid's head. <laughs> they were yeah. like, man. That's crazy. Yeah, it turns from my head into the bando. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, taking over taking over a whole person? That's nuts. Yeah, it's very uh obviously parasitic, but it's very like uh like men in black type shit. Mm-hmm. That's what it reminds me of. The little bugs. Yeah. Those guys. Get in the brain and You think that's just what they're doing up there? Just chilling? That's probably what they were trying to they maybe not in that that specific of it, but uh even more specific, you remember when Plankton got in Mr. Krabs' head and he planted the two sticks and he was controlling them like this and that's how he walked? I think lice want to do that, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> lice are like, they get in there and they're like, where's the sticks? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> where's the sticks? <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn, bro. And they just kill <laughs> That's I crazy. can't tell if Drew is smart or not, man. <laughs> I'm literally the smartest guy you know, and it's crazy that people don't know that. <laughs> well, most times you always just making facts up. You do, you do do it with like an ease, because you were like, bears are just big golfers. I'm like, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so true. Yeah, right? You just be saying it. I just said it better myself. Dude, but everything, everything gets explained in a way where you guys are like, God damn it, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> bears are just big ass golfers. Yeah, <laughs> lice is such like a preventable death though. You just have to cut your hair. Yeah, or yeah. wash it right. Can you just wash your hair? A little shampoo, little cut the hair. Bathing kerosene. Y'all ever had lice before? Drew seems like a lice kid. Yeah, Drew, you had lice. I don't think I did. I don't. Know. I had like pretty bad dandruff for a while. Okay. And uh, dandruff is a thing. Yeah, dandruff that was just like kind of crawling around, moving around. <laughs> no, they, they weren't moving, but I would always get scared to like see one move. But uh, I never knew like how to fix it. And then it was the shampoo I was using was drying, was drying my scalp. scalp. Yeah. yeah, so now I uh, I wash my hair less and I have a different shampoo. All right, wash it once a week. And then uh, lemon lemon juice kills dandruff. I found that out. Nice. You got to squeeze lemons on your head like a fucking psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Just over the sink with the lemon out. Is that what you do? Yeah, it was you like, always have lemons in the fridge. <laughs> no, it's been years since I've done it. <laughs> I do eat lemons like they're apples. That's crazy. You had so much dandruff, dandruff in life that you questioned if you had lice. I was me. I could yeah. confirm it instantly. Never had lice. Yeah. You were like, oh. Uh. Well, no, it was like I don't. I don't think I've had lice. 
If I did, I was in like second grade. But you must, the, have, got, you must have had some thick ass dandruff if he thought it was a bug. Yeah, I guess. It must have been you. You had big flakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were flakies. Mm-hmm. That was when I had longer hair. My sister got dandruff, or not, not dandruff, got uh, lice. Yeah, but I didn't get it. It went through the whole school. Then it get, then it get me. Damn. Mm-hmm. Be, it's contagious. Yeah, it's just like hanging out. If you're just like playing, like if you're a kid, and you're playing with a kid. So it's kind of like, like, it's like ringworms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess so. I got, are they just rubbing heads together? Unless you get it. I, I mean, feel like you, they can't make If you wear a hat or a helmet that somebody else wore, you yeah. can get ringworms like that. True. That's so disgusting. You ever had ringworms before? I've had, uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, I had ringworms. Yeah. I had that shit a few times. I had I ringworm got- and I had empatago. Both nasty. Yeah, empatago's the worst. Damn. How far can lice jump? Good question. <laughs> yeah, that's yo, that's smart. Them joints be hopping. They cannot fly from head to head. Oh, all right. They, they can, can only, only crawl. crawl. Yeah. Yeah, so kids are just retarded. They're right head to head contact. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, come on, y'all. Don't get lice. Yeah, it's Don't pretty... put your heads together. <laughs> Don't do it. Pretty preventable. Mm-hmm. All right, come on. Let me do a fact. All right. Let me do one. Let's go, <laughs> let's go all the way to the top. Let's go through the tippy All right, here we go. Hey, yo, actually, did you know that the founder of FedEx, Fred Smith, once saved his company from bankruptcy by going to Las Vegas, gambling his last $5,000 on blackjack, and winning $27,000? That was enough to keep FedEx going for another week while it secured additional funds. You love to see a success story. You see that, though? This is what I've been trying you to tell you You gotta fucking gamble You sometimes. have to gamble. Damn. When, Everybody that's ever won big had to gamble. You, when was this? Scroll down, know? scroll down. I think it was the 70s. Can we scroll down? Okay. Yeah. Uh, nice, uh, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, if this is recently, that's crazy. FedEx almost just went out of business. Uh, like, yeah, what if you woke out. up one day and they were like, Yo, no more FedEx? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. Hold on, what? They're like, yeah, they were like, what, what happened? He gambled away that last <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He had five grand left and went to Vegas. Yeah, he went to Vegas. Like, Yo, that's the guy that, that ran FedEx? <laughs> that yeah. fucking retard got FedEx yeah. off the ground? <laughs> yeah, every year you got to bet it all on green. Yo, that's crazy, <laughs> bro. Damn. After yeah. Blackjack when he raised another eleven oh, million, man. he should have just done that from the rip. <laughs> right. Damn, he makes it sound so easy. Yeah. From twenty go- from twenty seven thousand to eleven million. This is what I try to tell people. Like when you find yourself on hard times, you just gotta go put it you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not gonna you're not gonna make eleven million dollars just sitting on your ass at home. You gotta go to the Yeah. You gotta go to the casino. Try to the casino. And you gotta fucking gamble. And then raise an additional eleven million dollars. Mm-hmm. Also own FedEx. Wait, I don't get the raise addition in a level, uh, an additional eleven million. Yeah, I don't understand. So it he either. won that and then just went. And I mean, they say he only needed the twenty seven thousand, so he had enough time to secure more funds. Okay, maybe he was waiting on something. Yeah, probably loans or yeah. whatever the fuck he needed. And he probably needed a certain amount of capital. He might have had zero liquid. You see what I'm saying? With like, I need, I need a couple thousand in the bank account hmm. so I can get these loans. Damn, and he did it, bro. Yeah, he succeeded. Crazy success. I've tried other... this before, and it didn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that shit when I when I was married. Uh, one time, I had uh, I had blue I had blue the rent money, and then I had like four hundred dollars. I needed probably I needed like another six hundred for um uh for the rent, and then I went to the casino with that four hundred. I can't. I, I won. I was up like four fifty. Like I was right there. I was up like four because I think I got to like no I got to like eight seventy five or some shit like that and then I fucking blew that shit I lost all that shit. It's nothing worth. So that. fucking close, bro. That's I why was I don't dead gamble. Close and blew the whole fucking load. Mm. That stinks. That's why you don't own FedEx. I wonder how many like not <laughs> <laughs> how many not right. success stories there are with us. You know what I mean? Oh, what way more not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is probably the only success story. What do you mean? Like how many construction businesses yeah. are like, fuck, we got 300 left. Oh, these people have ruined themselves <laughs> doing this. Those aren't even stories anymore. We've forgotten about those guys completely. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, people bet their house. Like people yeah. really bet they put their fucking house up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where, um, you ever heard, you ever, you know, it, po- you ever play poker, Drew? Bet the house. There's bet the house, but then there's also like, I have the nuts. I have the nuts hand. What's that? Like, so if you're playing Texas Hold'em and you have, like, and that's based off the cards, the best pair you could have in your hand. Mm-hmm. You have the nuts hand. And that's because people would, like, lose so much that they would bet their carriage. They would bet, like, the, the nuts off the wheels on their carriage. Oh, You know what damn. I mean? Like, you can have okay. my, 
my whole car. That's basically. crazy. Like, I'm betting the nuts yeah. on it. Yeah. The nuts hand. Yeah. Damn. I got the nuts. Nuts flush. Yeah. Nuts That's crazy. Yeah, but they bet their whole car on it. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Nuts hand should be a wrestling move. <laughs> it should be a <laughs> WWE finisher. <laughs> <laughs> it's a last resort. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm ever even close to losing in a street fight, I'm going, the nuts the nuts going to the nuts hand. <laughs> Damn, bro. But yeah, yo, gamble. Gamble. Take gotta a do chance. It. We're sometime. very pro gambling on the show. That's mm-hmm. a good fact. All right, I got a fact about the man Adolf Hitler. Mm. Learned something about him today. Ah. It's kind of like a little, it's a series of three small facts. Young dog. Wait, go up, go up. I don't, actually, just, yeah. Anyways, AO actually. Adolf Hitler throughout his career had like a series of photos that he had banned from public records. I saw some of these. Yeah, that were never completely deleted. But they're very like so he did a photo shoot with someone where he was basically trying to look like a good public speaker. That was like the basis of the photo shoot. Mm-hmm. They were like, you gotta look like a natural. What's strong. he supposed to be doing in this one? <laughs> Hanging himself? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Hundred <laughs> uh, percent. He but imagine just being Hitler and just being so sad at how the pictures turned out yeah, like this. Like, I'm a fucking idiot. He fucking banned them. <laughs> he banned all these but they never deleted them fully. That's nice. It's a lot of gay ones. You seen them? Yeah. Yeah, He bro. has a lot of gay pictures. That was... Come on, man. It's not a bad pick. That's tough. He looks so cartoonish that it's crazy <laughs> that he's a real person. Yeah, it's nuts that this is a real guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look he? at this one. Does he have a basketball <laughs> in his hand? What is he doing? <laughs> Looks like he's going for a finger roll. <laughs> or he about to, he's serving a volleyball. That's the nuts hand. <laughs> This is this is the nuts. <laughs> That's the nuts hand for sure. I don't know. I just think it's funny to be like, all right, just like play around, man. He's like improvise, trying to look tough. Yeah, it's, what? It's one of these. Oh, but okay. This was a band pick. This is not a bad pick. No. So this is funny. So I found out. So he, you know how he was dating Ava Braun his whole life, his whole whatever career. He wanted to make Germany seem like he was like a young hot bachelor. Like he wanted to seem young hot. Mm-hmm. Single, he refused to ever have any public pictures of him and Ava Braun. Damn, but they have a bunch of pictures together, but never put Eddie publicly. Is that her? Yeah, yeah, she's rough. <laughs> yeah, she's ultra mid. <laughs> yeah, but she's basically like a nun. Never posted his girl. <laughs> That's crazy. Being the whole leader of Germany. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see why he ain't posted. Yeah, I wouldn't post her. That's either. the only thing I always. That's the only thing I've ever read about Hitler that I'm like, I, I feel that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, I, understand yeah. that I get him 100%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. I do. I understand why you will post that bitch. Bro. I've seen friends post pictures with their girlfriends, and I'm like, oh, rough, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Kept that one on the shelf. Right. Like, you ain't need to show me that. Get that bitch inside, bro. Right. Yeah, that's not for the nation, man. You yeah, I done lost some respect for you yeah. now, bro. That's your girl. That's your girl. Yeah, Ava, what? get your ass in the bunker. Look, he's like, nah, don't kiss yeah, me. Yeah, he's like, yeah, don't kiss me. Get your ass in the bunker. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, she stinks. Look yeah, at her. Back to the bunker with you. She sucks. Um, yeah, I would have banished her, bro. <laughs> she getting banished. <laughs> this is a oh, wait. So go up. This is another bad picture. So this was from. No, go up. Man, George, up, down, up. Okay, ready. So, fuck. I had her neighbor written down, but this was a black Brian. lady. Where? That he's behind. Oh no, wait. Never mind. No, that's a different guy. Oh, um, that's him sitting down. Yeah, smiling. That's Hitler. This is this is some American lady. So this is the Olympics in 1932, the Berlin Olympics, mm-hmm. and this girl came with her husband from America, from California, to see the Olympics, mm-hmm. and then got close to Hitler, broke through security to shake his hand. When he when she went to shake his hand, she went and like tried to kiss him. He leaned back, then she dove over and kissed him on the mouth. Oh shit! You know, damn. So he banned this because he didn't want anybody to know that. He is like accessible or like right, they could be like touched. Him. Yeah, but imagine being the husband and taking your girl all the way to Germany to yeah. see the Olympics. <laughs> she gets near Don't Hitler, Hitler. right? And she just can't control right. herself. She just streaks down the fucking field to see Hitler. <laughs> I have to touch him. It's like you can't take this bitch anywhere. Like what, bitch? <laughs> what was the, Hitler? What and he had to be like the, the biggest Hitler hater day one, right? <laughs> what he was like, the, of course he's doing. What's huh? the Nazi reference about a storm? Stormfront? Stormfront Daniels over there. <laughs> yes. Storm. Oh, fucking, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking being a, being a Hitler hater day one while he's just doing some bullshit in Germany. Right. You know what I mean? You're like, this fucking guy kissed my wife. That's crazy. My how yeah, how crazy did she this? get down there and get that close to him? 
Look, the whole background, everyone in the back is looking. Yeah, like, they're oh, looking. This lady's about to smooch Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. And they're laughing. Everybody knows it, dude. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows it. So embarrassing to leave the Olympics. You know what I mean? Just Damn. a simple time before people had fucking their phones out. We were looking at screens. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. Just Everybody's staring, so aware. Everyone's staring at Hitler the whole time. Yeah. What's that guy about to do, dude? Yeah, before phones, people just used to kiss Hitler. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. <clears throat> You're right. Hitler was YouTube kids for kids before YouTube kids. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Drew. <laughs> now I'm done. <laughs> now I'm done. I don't said speaks for itself. <laughs> well, you got you got to give us another fact. They hey? stayed together. Hello, guys. That's the end of the fucking free episode. We, sorry, we had to sell out. We need. We did sell out. We did. We need money. We this, need things. We don't want, I don't want to have to, me and Ben Stop have day jobs. Do you see how silly we are? We're going to get fired any day now. So I we, am almost fired almost every day. Same. Yeah. So we need to figure out a way to make money. We do film at 3 a.m. and it is cutting into my sleep schedule. Yes, we film so late at night. We 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 research facts while we're at work. I got pulled into the office earlier today and they said, Naeem, why are you looking at all these goddamn facts all day? Do your fucking job. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry. So I'm going to get fired. So because of that, the rest of this episode is on Patreon. This is like PBS going behind a paywall. It is. But <laughs> it's, only, it's like Elmo with an OnlyFans. What is our membership? Two, three dollars? Come on, bro. Y'all got three dollars to pay for the fucking <laughs> three bucks. Three dollars is nothing. Do you know what you do with three dollars? Huh. A gallon of gas is more than three dollars. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A pack of backwoods, more than three dollars. <laughs> pack of bacon, bro. I know what fuckers that eat a pack of bacon in one sitting. Raisin brand. Six dollars. You know what you're talking about right now? You're like, we're Come in a mass on, inflation. Bro. No, my bad, my bad. But three dollars, bro. Everybody got three dollars to see the rest of our fucking episode. Like, come on. You're not going to learn these types of facts. And it's, and, and it's extra funny. So watch it. Just pay three dollars to watch it real quick. Mm-hmm. But yeah, y'all, click on the Patreon link so you can see the rest of the episode. It's very funny. You don't want to miss it. We said some very inappropriate things. I told secrets about Shane Gillis. <laughs> Look it up. Click on the Patreon. Oh, yeah, it, it switches to secrets. Secrets is the, yep, that's the Patreon. It's all secrets about all the people that we respect and admire. So tune in. Click on the fucking link. Do it now. Subscribe.